hi, I'm Eric Deutsch, and uh, this is the ARP Omni 2. We're here in my loft in Brooklyn checking out some of my keyboards, and um, we've got this guy sitting on top of my piano, my Steinway M, and these are some of my most prized possessions and my favorite instruments. I've owned this ARP Omni 2 since uh, 1996. I bought it in Colorado at the Keyboard Exchange for $130, and I remember thinking, like, eh, maybe this is a good buy. Well, it definitely was a good buy, and... Um, it's a simple keyboard. It has two sections. It has two basic things that it does. It does strings and it does a synthesizer. And then there's also a bass section. So I, I take it back. There's about three sections. Let's check out each of them. First of all, the string section has a bass, cello, viola, and violin sound. So I'm going to put it all the way here on the string section. Let's hear what these sound like. Very 70s, you heard the ARP in all over the 1970s, uh, from the disco recordings to funk recordings, Earth, Wind & Fire, Herbie Hancock, Donna Summer, um, Parliament, everybody used the ARP strings. They were just the, the classic strings, and they sound great. Um, it's a little wide if you have all these on. Let's hear like what the top end sounds like. I like holding the high notes. I've used it a lot of my records holding high notes. And uh, anyway, it's just a great, great string patch. Um, when, uh, well, let's check out the bass. The bass is also super fat, and I've actually found it to be really useful over the years. Let's hear what it sounds like here. Uh, bring this guy down a little bit. Nice fat bass, a little bit of like P bass kind of sound, and um, it's pretty dope. You can get a lot of bass out of this thing, that's for sure. Let's see if we can trigger this string, uh, this synthesizer section, which is my favorite part of the synthesizer overall. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Now I'll crossfade in a little bit of the strings. So it's a simple keyboard, like I said, the synthesizer, the strings, and the bass, but what it does is really special. That synth to me just sounds so good. And then there's three effects, a chorus, a phaser kind of thing, does that, and a couple waveform triggers. So overall, a simple but really useful keyboard that I always find space for on my records. So um, this is all it does. It's a simple keyboard, like I said, the strings, the bass, and the synthesizer. But for what it does, it just sounds amazing. Let's check it out. Wee wee wee
PR Pomni 2, ladies and gentlemen.